Is the sliding door on your ProMaster giving you fits when you drive down the road and you hear squeak, 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 squeak? Well, I started doing it for the first time a couple of days ago as we were finishing our cross-country trip, well, halfway across the country, to spend holidays with our Texas relatives. We think we got a solution. So I investigated the problem of this squeaking, sliding door on our ProMaster van. My first thought was, it's the seal. My second thought was, it might be this guy. There is a nut, but you can see it in here, that holds this on. And this guy was loose, so I've since tightened it up. It's actually a stopper for the door. There are some areas where the wear on this gasket is more visible than others. So this is by the passenger door, and you can see not much wear shown there. But when I come back here and look in here, there's absolutely a difference. You can see there's a dark line that runs through, and it's more black than gray. And that's where the squeaking's coming from. We could get some three-in-one spray, the rubber treatment, or even the dry lube, and spray all along that seal. I've used dry lube on the windows in our fifth wheel. I'm not a big fan. It runs, makes a mess, just not quite what I like. I could use some talcum powder. Now why in the world would I use talcum powder? When I was racing cyclocross, I would use talcum powder in my tires so that my inner tube would slip and slide better in the tire. We run very low tire pressure racing cyclocross, which increases the opportunity for the tube to be pinched between the tire and the rim, cutting it, causing a flat. When you use the talcum powder, it really reduces, almost eliminates that as a problem. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna put talcum powder on the seal in the areas where we had the squeak. We're also gonna put talcum powder up on this bumper because the door does seem to come into contact with that. Step one, I'm gonna put a little talcum powder in my hand and I'm just using plain old baby powder. And then what I'm gonna do, dip my finger in it and I know using my finger, I'm gonna apply it to the gasket, just like this. Yeah, it makes a little mess here and makes a little mess there, but you know, just put a little on there. Doesn't have to be a lot. You'll be able to tell the difference in the feel. And we're gonna go all the way around. That's how we're gonna do it. So let's see if this works. Well, we got success. The baby powder on the door gasket took care of the squeaky squeak squeak. We just went across, it might as well have been cobblestones. It was a rough patch of road around Shreveport, Louisiana. And uh, there were plenty of rattles from the microwave, but the door was squeakless. Success! Hey, thanks for watching. If you got anything out of this video, give us a thumbs up. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye-bye.